Probably about 20 seconds more. I think we'll begin now. So welcome to evening prayer on this Thursday, the 23rd of April, St. George's Day. Uh, and if you are joining for the first time, please do uh, follow the text by using one of the following three options. If you're in a common worship Red Daily Prayer book, then please open it on the uh, Easter season form for evening prayer. Um, if you have a smartphone, you can download the Church of England's Daily Prayer app and that will give you the correct readings, or uh, you can navigate your way back to the main Chesterfield Parish Church Facebook page and use the um, the, the uh, Church of England's link for contemporary evening prayer for Easter season. Today, uh, as I already said, and uh, uh, as you no doubt know, is St George's Day. Um, the church celebrates the life of St George he was born in modern day Turkey in Cappadocia um, and he likely lived as a Roman officer in the fourth century um, and it was under the rule of Diocletian that he was martyred for um, denying uh, the worship of false gods for refusing to perform a sacrifice to a pagan god for accept accepting death rather than um, honour false gods St George is remembered throughout the world and, of course, as uh, the patron saint of England. For his example of fidelity to the Christian faith, may we all remember him in our prayers and our actions today. And so let us take a brief pause before we begin. Rejoice, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia. He whom thou wast meet to bear, Alleluia, as he promised hath arisen, Alleluia. Pour for us to God your prayer, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia, because the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son has brought joy to the whole world, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may lay hold of the joys of eternal life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you we glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As we call, as you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Our psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms uh, 3 and 11. I'll give you just a brief moment to uh, find your way to Psalm 3. Lord, how many are my adversaries? Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say to my soul, there is no help for you in your God, but you, Lord, are a shield about me. You are my glory and the lifter up of my head when I cry aloud to the Lord. He will answer me from his holy hill I lie down and sleep and rise again. 
because the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of hordes of the peoples that have set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, and deliver me, O my God. For you strike all my enemies on the cheek and break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be upon your people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Psalm 11. In the Lord have I taken refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to the hills? Or see how the wicked bend the bow and fit their arrows to the string? To shoot from the shadows at the true of heart, when the foundations are destroyed. What can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven, his eyes behold. His eyelids try every mortal being. The Lord tries the righteous as well as the wicked. But those who delight in violence his soul abhors. Upon the wicked he shall rain coals of fire and burning sulphur. Scorching wind shall be their portion to drink. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteous deeds. And those who are upright shall behold his face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the 43rd chapter of the book of Isaiah, beginning at the first verse. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honoured, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Here ends our first reading. God raised Christ from the dead, the lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You were ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Our second reading is taken from the 15th chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, beginning at the first verse. 
I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Here ends the second reading. Those who gave up their lives for Christ and followed in the way rejoice with God now and forever. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. And so, in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us now pray to the Father. We are asked to, pay, to pray on behalf of the whole parish church today for David Staves. We also pray for the repose of the soul of Eunice Shaw, who was laid to rest today. And in the year's mind of the parish church, we pray today for the repose of the soul of Brian Charter and Douglas Parkinson. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. This day we pray for the world and her needs for ecological recovery and for renewed compassion towards creation. We pray for a mutual life, a shared life, and that 